Hi there guys, my name is Lex from perfumeblog.com You're also sponsored by giftwrap.com And you can go there and type in my name and get a discount <laughs> Just kidding It's Lex here with another fragrance review So, what house is it today? It's the house of Van Cleef and Arpels I absolutely love this house Mainly because they actually give a fuck about the products. They don't release a scent every two fucking minutes. They don't release Summer 09. They don't release Super Parfum Extreme Sport Cologne versions. They don't bullshit around. They don't fuck about. They just do the damn job. And that's why they get such high ratings. It tends to happen when you're not a fucking idiot. But yeah, so this one came out in 2010 and it got a bit of hype about a few years ago. Uh, mainly after, I believe, Mark's review, which is the one that actually opened my eyes to this as well. So this is the Eau de Parfum version. I got this on Amazon for around 40 quid um, a while ago, actually, a good few years back, two or three years, I think. And yeah, um, you won't get it for that price. In fact, I've not seen the Eau de Parfum on sale anywhere recently, uh, only the Eau de Toilette. So this came out in 2010, and apparently it's based on a watch that also had this um, pattern on the face. So it's a really nice bottle and let's have a good look at it. Let me adjust the camera here, blow me out and make the bottle all sharp. Yeah, because autofocus is a fucker, so I just adjust it myself. Really nice sort of star constellation thing going on there. Really nice sort of diamond pattern on the lid. You have Van Cleef and Arpels on the side. You also have Midnight in Paris on the other side and your information uh, on the bottom, such as your code and the amount. So that's the 125ml Eau de Parfum. Let me just adjust the camera back. So, how's the sprayer on this one? Is it a good sprayer? Does a good amount come out? Yeah, it does. So, not a bad sprayer, but it, it feels a bit stiff. You know, you have to put your back into it a little bit and you push it down. Um, but a good amount comes out. So, the smell. Now, you guys know I suck at notes. Apparently this has leather and some citrus and stuff. Not sure if it has tonka bean. It reminds me a little bit of Alurum Sport or Extreme on the dry down after about three hours the tonka come in, comes in. Yeah. Reminds me a bit of that, um, being honest. So, since I suck at notes, I'm just going to close my eyes and tell you what I smell. Okay, now this is called Midnight in Paris, and that is perfectly fitting. But this smell, which is a little bit feminine, and um, I'll go at that in a bit. I'm in Paris. I've been out with my fiance, girl I'm madly in love with, who doesn't exist in real life, sadly, because <clears throat> I'm a prick. But anyway, <laughs> back to the tale. It's Paris. We've been shopping, went out to some nice designer designer shops, bought some nice stuff, treated ourselves, you know, you know, we're out there, we had a nice meal, you know, we, 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 say we had some champagne at a nice restaurant, lovely meal, the staff were friendly, it was gorgeous, the meal was delicious, we a little bit tipsy with the champagne, so, and it all giggly, and it's now midnight, and uh, we're thinking of heading home, we're looking for a taxi, and we're just walking about, you know, just before we head off home, I'm going for a little walk. And it's looking up at the stars, and the stars are all over, the Eiffel Tower's there, and it's all lit up. And it's just fantastic, it's literally paradise. And then we're going back to the room, you know, for handcuffs, and latex, and body... Uh, just ignore that part of the story. Ahem. Especially if there's any kids around, okay? If you want the rest of the story, you can um, uh, uh, read the rest of it on literotica.com. Not that I've ever been on that site before, though, of course. <laughs> I'm not into that shit. <clears throat> yeah, anyhow, um, yeah, let's talk about performance. Um, so, anyhow, before we do that, this is actually a little bit feminine. Just to mention that, it is a little bit on the feminine side. So, if you're a fucking pussy who's really scared that people might think of them, <laughs> this isn't for you. Stay away from this. In fact, stay away from fucking anything that's half decent. You don't deserve to wear it. Come back and you go a pair of balls. You're on the wrong fucking channel. Jesus. <laughs> I'm kidding, but if you are that sort of worry about that shit and you're an idiot, then I don't recommend this. To be fair, all serious, since it is a little bit feminine. I like it, I don't mind wearing it, but you know, I'm a prick, so bad example. Uh, <laughs> so, performance with this one actually does perform like an eau de parfum, unlike many, many recent designer releases in 2014 and 15. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Dolce and Gabbana, dicks. Anyway, this one's 10 to 12 hours um, plus on longevity and projection. It's heavy, but not heavy. It will get you noticed, so like it's weak, but it's not going to punch you in the face. Like, it's strong, so it will get noticed. 
but it won't come off as strong. You won't walk by and go, woof, Jesus. Also, if you put on too much, it can be cloying, being honest. It can come across as cloying. It's one of those scents. If you put on the right amount, it'll smell fantastic. It'll smell luxury. It'll smell gorgeous. If you put on too much, it will just smell like cheap cologne. You do not want to put on too much, um, really. So, yeah, performance this one. So, how many sprays with this one? I'm going to recommend four sprays. Average it out. You know, colder weather, you wear more. Hotter weather, you wear less. So, say it's like Spain. The perfect time for this is like a breeze, a, a night, a sort of windy breeze. Imagine you're in Spain. Like in Spain, it's a roasting hot day. And at night time, it gets really cold, you know. And it's a cold day in Spain. You're sitting outside after dinner having a little coffee or something, you know, at a local cafe, which I used to do a lot with my parents as a kid. And you get a cold breeze coming by. And as you get this cold breeze, you get, it blows by you and you get a nice whiff of this scent. That is the perfect setting for this. Unfortunately, I've not really experienced that, apart from the day I arrived in Spain, um, because the stupid customs were allow 100ml and this is 125ml and it gets even worse even if there's only 20ml in this because it's a 125ml container I still can't take it on board fuck you terrorists you sons of bitches I'm just waiting for an ISIS member to comment with I will kill you yeah well done go back to fucking college anyhow as I was saying so age group with this one I'm going to recommend 25 and up this is, this is not a kiddie scent, this is not, you know, a teenager scent by any means. This is a real ma masculine, confident man scent. Um, like I said, it's a bit feminine, so... It's a scent for someone with some fucking balls. You know, when I smell this, I think of, you know, the guy I described with the, the hot fucking fiancé. He's got a nice car, he's loaded. You know, he's a lucky bastard, he won the lottery. And he's really, really, really good at manipulating the stock market. Asshole. Wolf of Wall Street right there, um, really, um, that sort of guy, real confident, well dressed, sexy hair, basically everything I'm not, <laughs> okay, everything I'm not, <laughs> but um, really, yeah, so 25 and up I think is the perfect age, 25, 30 and up, you'll be fine, okay, so season wise, where to wear this one? Thank you dry throat, um, I think this is perfect for, um, Winter and autumn and winter, um, definitely. Um, autumn, winter with this one, without a doubt. Spring, maybe, but definitely autumn, winter. Do not wear it in summer, unless you're crazy like me. But you're not crazy like me, so you won't do it, will you? But seriously, don't wear it in summer. Um, autumn, winter, perfect for this. Cold days, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Cold days, I think this really shines. And if you can, if you have a smaller bottle, that whole, that whole windy breeze thing I described, that is the ultimate, the ultimate experience for this. If you've got experience that that is the ultimate setting. Somewhere like Spain, where it's not freezing cold, but you get a nice cool nighttime breeze coming through. That is, that sums up the scent more than anyone could imagine. So, situation wise, can you wear this to work? No, it's too fucking good to wear to work. Doesn't matter where you work, doesn't matter if you maybe worked as like a CEO at fucking Apple or Microsoft, then fair enough. But I just do not, I just see us being too good to where to work. Unless I had a meeting or I was getting promoted or something or it was a go at my last day there, I don't see any reason why I'd want to waste this on working a shitty 9 to 5 fucking job. That's why I bought Spider Man, I'd wear that, that's nice, you know? I wouldn't wear this. Now, for a date, fuck yes. I think this is for a special date. I'm going to a nice restaurant. Like I pictured, like Paris. That whole Paris thing where they're going for a nice meal, doing a bit of shopping beforehand. That situation works fine in. Clubbing. Oh no. Unless it's a really high-end club. Basically the sort of club that the guy from the Dior ads... What's his name again? What's his name again? The, the guy from the original Dior Rome ads. Not shitty Robert Pattinson with his really skinny teenage boy suit. The original guy, you know, the, with the fancy car. The guy who looked fucking loaded, you know. The guy who actually looked like he fucking wore the R. Yeah, him. Yeah, that. The sort of club he would go to. High-end James Bond club. That's the sort of club I can imagine this being worn in. Can't imagine this being worn at local student bar. There are better options. It just wouldn't fit in. It needs to be in a situation where you're sort of dressed up, you know. 
somewhere that, you know, you're going out of your way. You dress up really nice for that, you know, that sort of thing. Now, casual wear. Can you wear this casually? No, you can't. You cannot wear it casually. Look at the bottle. Does this look like something you can just pick up and wear to go to, to Walmart or go to the pub? No, let's compare it with another bottle. Let's compare them. Yop Home Wild or this? Which one screams casual to you? Yeah, I wonder which one. Pretty fucking obvious. But yeah, um, being honest, you can't wear it casually. If you want to, go ahead, but I think this is just too fucking nice a scent to wear to go shopping at the, the fucking New Year sales at Walmart or Asda or Tesco or any other annoying Win Dixie or Lose Dixie if you're really cheap. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, formal wear. Can you wear this formally? This was made for formal wear. This was made for special occasions. Like, I know I keep bringing it up, like I said, Paris, midnight, fiancé, having a good time together, you know, you're, you're going to nice restaurants, you're shopping at fancy stores, you're spending a lot of money and you don't fucking give a damn. That is what this is about. Having a great time. This is about living life to the full. That's what this scent sort of represents. Formal wear, weddings, dressing up, going to a really swanky nightclub. You know, um, you've just been promoted to a, a, a good position in your job, that sort of stuff. That's what this scent is for. Weddings, honeymoon, stuff like that. That is, This is made for special occasions. Don't waste this on your part-time job at McDonald's. Okay? Don't waste this. It's not worth wasting this at work. Really, it's just too fucking good. Okay? Being quite honest. If you can find the Eau de Parfum, I highly recommend picking it up. Not for everyone. It is a hard scent to describe. My best example was the one I gave you where I just closed my eyes and just told you what I smell. That's pretty much it. It's just that looking at the notes, I'm just like, what the fuck did I say? I mean, it just it blows my mind. It's like the dreamer, you know? It smells fantastic. Now, the Eau de Toilette I've heard, like I said, pretty close in smell. You can also get pretty cheap. So if you really want to experience this, pick up the Eau de Toilette. You can get pretty cheap, you know? And you can always reapply, you know? But um, if you do see the Eau de Parfum, um, for the lasting power of a loan, pick it up, really. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. I know it's running a bit long, but I had so much to say about this scent. I had so much to say, I couldn't make this video short. I've actually, this is actually my third attempt at recording the video. First attempt, my throat fucked up. Second attempt, it was way too long. And now this is the third attempt. And I've tried to make it shorter and it just, I've got so much to say. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments. Send me a YouTube message. There's also a um, Facebook link on my channel banner. So you can contact me there if you don't have a Google Plus account. And you can't bother making one. In which case, I don't blame you and I'm jealous of you. Because I fucking hate Google Plus. It sucks balls. There, I got that out of my system. It sucks. It sucks utter balls. Okay, Google? It fucking sucks. It's not a replacement for Facebook. It's that one that everyone has because they're forced to have it. It's like a Microsoft account. No one wants one, they just have to get one. Like my Windows phone, you have to use a Microsoft account. It's a piece of shit, but that's for another video, okay? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, guys, the most important rule, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And... Come on, let's do it like a pantomime. And... Keep on smelling fly! Who's the guy smelling fly? He's behind you! Oh. Okay, I don't have the money to put a performance like that on, but when I do, you can bet your ass Lex will be performing at a theatre near you. Fragrances with Lex. The musical. Oh, they watered it down. Oh, they watered it down. You'll cry. You'll laugh. You will jump for joy. It'll be a masterpiece. It'll put West Side Story to shame. Now you keep on smelling fly and book the tickets when they're available. <clears throat>